Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Volateri with CBSSports.com, bringing you the 11th day of the 2007 U.S. Open. Let's go back to the 10th day. Three great matches I want to talk about. Hey, Tommy Haas, you did everything you can do. I'm proud of you. We've been together 17 years. Davy Danko played flawless tennis. Tommy, you had a great open. Let's go to the evening matches. Wow. Venus Williams playing Jelena Yankovic. I know both of these girls very well. Jelena spending seven years of her life at the academy and Venus coming in and out. It was a thriller from Manila. At the end, Venus came through. And you know what? Both girls won that match last night. I'm proud of both of you. Now let's go to the match. Roger Federer versus Andy Roddy. Let me give you one statistic. Zero double faults from either of the players. That match was knock him down, baby. That first and second set was off the wall. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I keep on saying this about Roger Federer. You want to hit hard, I'll hit hard. You want to have a big serve, I'll return your serve. Andy, you played well last night. But you know what? Once every couple of hundred years, somebody comes through that you just can't explain. Roger Federer, you are something special. Andy, too bad. It's too bad that you're in that side of the drawer, but you played your hearts out. Let's go to today. Some interesting matches. I'm going to go to the night matches, or the men's matches, excuse me. Carlos Moya, the veteran. No, he's got that cut off. He's got that little tattoo around that arm. If I had an arm that big, I may wear that with a couple of tattoos around that arm. He's a veteran. He's a veteran of many wars. No one, no one has ever said a negative remark about Carlos Moya. He's a keen competitor. He may not have a big single weapon, but he has a little bit of everything, but he has a big heart and a lot of experience. He's playing Jovenic. You know, he's been treated on and off. In fact, I think he has a full-time doctor and nurse with him now and a masseuse to take care of that back. This will be an interesting match, but in the long run, the man from Serbia may have a little too much power for Carlos. But watch how Carlos sort of thinks, I can't do this, so I'm going to stay away from that. I can do this. He's going to slow the pace up, everybody. He's going to throw in some deep, heavy balls. That might be his only defense. And the next man, Chella versus Ferreira. Boy, I tell you what, Mr. Ferreira, you played one heck of a match the other day. This will be a long match. It's not going to be a bing, 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 you're in and out. This is going to be a long time. Listen, what I might suggest is try to sneak in a little sandwiches, a, a couple of extra ones that maybe Mama made. And include a peanut butter and jelly for me. I love that peanut butter and jelly. And uh, single me out tonight, and I'll come up and get it. I give the edge to Ferreira. You know what? I keep saying this. This is 11 days in a row. Lord, you have been kind to us. And you know what? I believe that the U.S. Open is going to give a special check for the good Lord up there to give to any charity that he sees fit. This is Nick Voluntary with CBSSports.com. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.